Electric vehicles are among the best investments in the present times due to the boom in EV sales, public acceptance, and environmental regulations. Not all EV companies seem optimistic enough to invest in, so investments must be done very carefully. Fisker & Lucid are among the most anticipated EV brands that have a solid and legitimate presence. Out of the two, which company has the best stocks to invest in? Welcome everyone to another video on New Vehicle Media, the channel that guards all the latest updates on Lucid. Before moving any further, feel free to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Like the video and leave your feedback in the comments section below and get featured at the end of one of our videos. Today we'll be going over Lucid and Fisker, both of which are from California. Lucid is expected to release its debut flagship EV in the second half of 2021, while Fisker will release its flagship SUV in late 2022. Fisker is planning to make affordable EVs, while Lucid is making luxury EVs. Stocks for both the companies have been going up rapidly at a rate of 187% for Fisker and 480% for Lucid. This is after their IPO and pre-IPO announcements. Fisker has a history as it made the stylish EV the Fisker Karma. Lucid has its history as being known previously as Alteva and making the Mach E batteries. All our videos have timestamps in the description which help you navigate through the video at your own pace. Ongoing and Future Projects Fisker is working on its flagship SUV, which is named the Fisker Ocean. Production of the EV will begin in November 2022. This vehicle is being made under a partnership with Magnus Dare on the FM29 platform. It will have a starting price of $37,499 US dollars, up to $69,900. A range of up to 350 miles will be among the selling points of the Fisker Ocean. Another project is set for 2023 and is called the Fisker Pair. This will be made in collaboration with Foxconn and will be priced under 30,000 US dollars. Lucid is going to release its debut sedan this year. It is called the Lucid Air. It comes in many variants that begin from 70,000 US dollars and go up to nearly 200,000 dollars for the top of the line variants. Lucid will also introduce the Project Gravity EV in 2023. It also plans to make affordable EVs in the future. Lucid is not only planning to work in the EV business, but plans to have multiple revenue streams. The company plans to work in Energy Storage System, or ESS. It will use the current battery technology and use it to make power solutions. Asset Lean versus Highly Integrated Fisker is going with an asset lean approach in which maximum aspects of the business will be outsourced to other companies. These include assembly, production, engineering, and the charging network. Differentiation has been deemed as non-essential by Fisker in the above-mentioned operations. The benefit of this approach is that it shortens the concept to the delivery timeline from a typical five years to just two years and five months. It also allows the company to allocate all the capital towards critical components that have a great effect on the customer experience. These are software, design, user interface, software, and ADAS, Advanced Driver Assistance Systems. The Asset Lean business model allows Fisker to keep costs minimum and set the prices of its cars very low. The approach taken up by Lucid is not similar to Fisker, as it has a high degree of integration in it. All the operations, such as research and development, are done by Lucid itself in-house. This includes the battery technology, ADAS, safety, chassis, HVAC, and infotainment system. All of this will be done by the EV maker at its facilities in Arizona, USA. There are mainly two facilities, Advanced Manufacturing Plant, AMP-1, and Lucid Powertrain Manufacturing Plant, LPM-1. Capital usage for this extent of vertical integration is very high, but there will be lower operational costs with time as well as full influence over the quality of the manufactured vehicles. The current production capacity of the Arizona facilities is at 30,000 units, but will get up to 400,000 units in the coming years. However, there is something that Lucid is doing very similar to Fisker. The Lucid Electric Advanced Platform, or LEAP, will allow Lucid to reuse its engineered platform and get the most amount of return from capital investments done. It will also allow Lucid to quickly develop and release new models in its lineup. LEAP includes the tried and tested battery pack, control software, power electronics, software, transmission, and boost charger. 
difficulties faced in the models. A great extent of the business activity is outsourced by Fisker, which will lead to a few difficulties for the company. Both Foxconn and Magna Star have ongoing projects of their own. Production delays at the end of these two companies will consequently result in the delayed delivery of Fisker vehicles. The relations between Fisker and these companies must always be kept positive, as any problems in relation will mean a lot worse for Fisker than for Foxconn and Magna Star. Another thing is that customers and investors will be considering Fisker based on the performance of Magna Star and Foxconn. People having a bad experience with the two will not be very attracted to Fisker. Quality control and consistency will be a huge concern for Fisker if it outsources its work to other companies. Strict monitoring of the work done by the companies is needed. Any substandard product by any of the two companies will result in the devaluation of the Fisker vehicles. The highly integrated model by Lucid also has its drawbacks. This makes things very capital-intensive for Lucid as the company is also spending capital on the research and development of its debut vehicle. An estimated 700 million US dollars are set aside as the investment for the factory, along with the 1.8 million dollars in the form of rent of the land. Lucid had faced bankruptcy some time back, but was saved through a $1 billion capital from Saudi Arabia's public investment fund. Another $4.4 billion of capital has been given to Lucid as a result of the SPAC reverse merger with the Churchill Capital Corporation 4. Lucid is targeting a very small section of the market and will work on the luxury vehicle niche. The Next 5 Years The performance targets set by Fisker for the next five years are very aggressive. A minimum of 100,000 Fisker Ocean units will be produced by the company annually. As the production of the pair begins, it will also have 250,000 units manufactured in its first production year. A combined production number of 350,000 vehicles was being forecast by Fisker by the year 2024. It is a very aggressive target, as this consists of 7% of the EV market share in 2024, which is 6.2 million cars. Financial Condition Fisker is developing the Fisker Ocean with the $1 billion it received in capital injections after an SPAC reverse merger by Spartan Energy Acquisition in October 2020. The company does not indicate any capital investments until the year 2023 and plans to operate with the Fisker Ocean sales revenues until that time. Lucid seems to be in a promising financial condition as it has received over 9,000 reservations for its Lucid Air variants before even delivering a single vehicle to its customers. Out of all the bookings, almost 500 consisted of the Lucid Air Dream, which is the top-of-the-line variant priced. All this translates into an expected revenue of more than $712.6 million for the EV maker just based on the bookings it has now, even if there are 10% cancellations done. Lucid is expected to make a profit somewhere between 631 and 915 million US dollars by 2025. Outro Fisker and Lucid are working on different products, business models, and markets. There are difficulties faced by the companies in their plan, but they have made reasonable measures to deal with the problems. Lucid is working on vertical integration, which will be very capital intensive but result in reduced operational costs and give the company control over the quality and consistency of its products. On the other hand, Fisker is outsourcing most non-differential processes to Qualcomm and Foxconn. This will allow the company to use capital in other things like research and development, but Fisker will not have full control over the quality and consistency of its products. One key difference is that Fisker is making EVs that will be highly affordable while Lucid is catering to the high-end luxury EV customers. This is the first time we will see Lucid perform, but that is not the case for Fisker, as it has gone bankrupt once before when the Fisker Karma was released. Hence, the motive for Lucid will be to establish the brand, while Fisker has to revive the brand. Living Alaska Native is ready to see some violent growth in CCIV stock levels. What are your thoughts? Will stocks rise to an all-time high? Feel free to share your comments. If you haven't subscribed already, why not do so now? It's free and reversible at any time. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.